But I did have some people, one of my buddies from Chillicothe who lives here, younger, way younger than me, said they were down there to watch it, and I said, is it cold? He said, yes. I said, but how's the plastic? He said, it's doing fine. He said, ain't no wind. So well, there were still people around the fire pit, so we probably could have left the one side down. I was thinking that. <clears throat> because people did not care. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you a funny story. I go to take a leak. My brother brought his, right. his kids down, his wife and a couple other of their friends, and I got to catch up with him mainly. <clears throat> and I go to the restroom, I'm standing there, two guys come in, one of them go, man, I got to the door, $10 cover. Man, that's like, now that's the best $10 I ever spent. Because <laughs> there was women, girls. Yep. There are a lot of couples that when they come home, I, I don't want to. It's, it's a beating for them to be together because it seems like the new is gone. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to do. I know what show you want. And I just don't want to have any. Oh, and I've got that. Good call. I've said it before. I'll say it again. No bueno for relationships. Cause most, unless they have a job like Stephanie does where she is busy, busy, yeah, yeah. busy. We can't. We don't. <clears throat> Then you know everything that happened to that person all day long. Yeah. Totally you can you believe I got cut off at the red light? Yeah. Can you believe my boss isn't here today? Can you believe they're calling me for this? So you don't have So when you get home you go, baby, how was your day? Well, I told you everything already. Yeah. You you don't have that interaction or communication because you're you're absolutely right. Self gratification is I want to tell you how I feel right now and you can't console it. You can't fix no. it. I posted on Facebook today, if you dwell in the past, you're going to have trouble living in the present. And a lot of people dwell on the past. I, I'm one. Yeah. You are. I, I have to take, I have to make a conscious effort to put the past behind. Right. Because like, last I checked, we can't change anything about it. I'm working on that. No. All right. I, you know. We're going to get out of here, man. Have a good day. <laughs> If you, hey, comment, do whatever, say something, we don't care. Uh, if it helped you, great. If it didn't, great. I know I have my man bun shirt on, but I have my. Russell's my does training bun. out here, 100 an hour. I would do, you know 100 what? an hour. Somebody asked me why I don't do it. Somebody asked me why do I not train. I got a full setup in my garage. I train two people. I train two people. and I, Well, Stephanie's three, but I'm married to her, so I have to. Two people. And it's only because. My buddy Gerald has pretty much said, train me and I'll, I'll get all the equipment for you. So that's a bonus for me. But if we wasn't making movies, I would train. I would I would own a gym and I would train. But for two reasons. But it's time, yeah. You like talking. I like talking. You like telling this person how to better themselves. Correct. I like to see the results. Yeah. You... you you do a good job of that. Well, you well, I appreciate it. Sometimes we want you to shut the hell up. Yeah. But the good is in there. Is I got to get you to believe it. We're making it now. Ron Bergamo. Listen. We, we walk in with Unjust. 13 episodes of uh, a group of military guys that were back from the war and really didn't know how to fit in. So they kind of formed this vigilante group to track down bad guy. Basically, this was the unit before the before unit. the unit because this was 2006. Well, we get it on. It's on at 10 o'clock on Sunday, I think, 10:30 something like that, and it does well. It does well. It does really well. He was blown away about how well it did. So, before Thanksgiving, he called us into his office and went, "Hey, after the holidays, we are going to take this and I'm going to get in touch with all the other general managers." Of all the stations I know, and get you guys going, get you guys syndicated. And this is late <clears> night <throat> TV. This is going to be like that eleven or twelve that you see yeah. on CBS and all this. So this is a huge deal for us because we're selling our product to stations for content. Right. Go. And 
we gave each other a big hug on the way and you know thanksgiving goes by and christmas goes by and after the first of the year we're like man we should call ron no he'll call us well mr ron bergamo and his wife went up to prescott for thanksgiving and on the way back down they hit a patch of ice lost control and uh wrecked this is in the mountains, by the way. Uh, way, way up in the mountains, <clears throat> and uh, neither one of them survived. I said this on a show the other day. This, that was not about us. Ron was a good man. Great man. He Great. just so happened was going to help us. Yes. And we came back. Station, new station manager come in a month or so later, and went, "Yeah, that's just not the direction I want to go." So, you. Yeah, that that was the hardest walk because we went in there and met him as we got our tapes back and stuff. We were shooting on tape back then, 4HD and all this stuff. Hardest walk out of the station holding those box of tapes going, dang it, what now? Right. We, we had literally thought we made it. I mean, and, and this is... Oh, it had Wolf from American Gladiator. Yeah. Before he was Wolf. Before he was Wolf. Uh, Jose, our buddy Jose, who's in Hollywood doing a ton of stuff. God dang, I can't even mention all this stuff. Look up uh, uh, Breeze Blocks. He's the lead character in that video. You've never heard of it. 85 trillion. Oh, where he's the dad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, I sent it to you. Yeah. And Hollywood, the reason we stopped the seven episodes was he got the American Gladiator deal and he was going off to be the American Gladiator. That's why we stopped and only shot seven episodes, but they liked it enough as a drama. And that SOB is the reason we had to start it late because he took a seven-inch horn up the... As a bullfighter. And we had to wait six months. We did, that's exactly right. While he had his inside rebuilt. 